In this video I want to do another amplifier, again using KiCad 8 and NG Spice for simulation. The amplifier I have chosen is the OPA1641, which is a very nice audio amplifier, ultra low noise, etc. Okay, the first thing what I want to do is create a new project. File, new. And I'll store this project in the directory. I have called it OPA1641. And then I call the project also OPA1641. And I save it. So this is a place to save the whole thing, the circuit diagram and the simulation instructions later. Okay, yeah, so just put in save here and we have it saved. I want to get the amplifier. Let's check if it is there. So we load the libraries and then we type into the filter OPA1641. Okay, and we are happy that we find this symbol. Okay, put it down here, enlarge it a little bit with scrolling on the mouse. Okay, our amplifier is again amplifier with a factor of 10 inverting and so we need some more devices, we need some resistors. Which is R. Okay, just turn it around, right mouse click, rotate counterclockwise, put it here. Another one, left mouse click, okay again transform selection right mouse click rotate clockwise put it here we need the ground which is gnd okay let's turn it around put it here okay we need some power symbols using the add power symbols button uh, we have the VCC symbol. Okay, put it here. We want another power symbol. Let's look for the VEE symbol. Okay, let's turn it around. Right mouse click, transform selection, mirror vertically, put it here. Now interconnect our devices. Just a little bit of wire here, ended by left. Double, mouse click doubling. Well, we have our resistors here. We have the output here. And we have the ground connection here. Okay. Uh, we need to label our input and output. Let's do this with label in. Okay. Just turn it around, transform selection, mirror horizontally, put it here. We have to label our output, another left mouse click. We have the label out. Okay, just put it here. We need our um, power supplies. Well, again, add symbol. And we know that we have the VDC power supplies, but from the simulation spice library, we have one. We need a one, another one, the same kind. Again, left mouse click, simulation spice VDC. Okay, put it here. Then we leave this. We have to add, oh, to wire this thing here. Let's interconnect it. Let's have a little wire for our ground connection and then just copying things like the VCC symbol, mark it, duplicate it, put it here, the VEE symbol, mark it, duplicate it, put it here, the ground symbol, okay, let's take another one, just a G and D. And we have 
have OK. We put it here. So let's give values to our devices. We want to have plus 15 volt. OK. We want to have minus 15 volt. Double click onto the one. Add 15 to the window. We want to have an R of 10K. OK. And we want to have an amplification of effect you know, 10. So they have to choose this one, 100K. OK. Yeah, so we, what you still need is the input voltage. Let's have it here. Uh, the input is the V-sin, sinusoidal input source. Uh, we all, let's place it here. OK. We need a ground for this can mark this and duplicate it ground connection and we need to wire it connected to our in port that's it here yeah so what kind of voltages do we want for our sinusoidal source um, let's have a look DC zero that's fine the amplitude one oh maybe that's too much why should we amplify this give it a 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay we have a frequency of one kilohertz and we have the ac equal one tag which allows to do ac simulation later on so yeah here we are so what do we need else we need a spice model for our opa 1641 symbol NG Spice and KiCad do not deliver Spice models, so we have to ch search for a Spice model in the internet. We know that TI is making this device, and so let's have a look. Let's open our browser, and we want to search uh, TI OPA1641, and hopefully we get a website. We have this data sheet product information and support let's have a look well the whole thing is in german even if i put here english it does not allow me to translate this into english automatically so we have to find where is our model typically it's on the heading design and development so let's look at here okay and here we are the opa 164x p spice model this sounds nice so Let's download it. Okay, and we have it here. Okay, this is the file we've got. It's a zipped file, and we may open it with a 7Z uh, project. And here we are. Yes, yeah, so where are we right now? We are now having several files, and what is our... Uh, what is our modeling file? We have to look at it. And typically it is the opi164x.lib. But let's check it. We open our uh, notepad editor and just put this into notepad. And let's have a look. There's a lot of text, descriptions, 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 and then it starts with this line, subcircuit OPA164X. And this looks like a typical subcircuit model for SPICE. So we are here. We have to save it in the right place. So let's save it under, okay, a suitable. Uh, place we have to find here and we we'll look to find it in the video OPA1641 save it yeah so we have this in a place we know of indeed it's our project um, directory so we can close all this and now we have to attach this model to the OPA1641 symbol double click onto the symbol select simulation model and then we want to load this model from the file.lib 
Okay, let's search for this. All the files we have, and we have this one here. This looks nice. Okay, we have to check what sub-circuit do we want to load. Uh, there are a lot of sub-circuits within this model, but we know that this is the starting sub-circuit line. This is our model. So let's do OK. Are we ready right now? Uh, unfortunately not. You see, this symbol has a pin numbering, and the pin numbering typically stems from the footprint of the device, from this package. And very often, the pin numbering of the model does not comply with the pin numbering of the footprint. So we have to work on this. So let's again go into the simulation model editor and have a look at the pin assignment. And nicely, it shows the text of the model again. We can scroll down. We see here that pin number one of the model is in plus. Pin number two of the model is in minus, but we have, for example, no pin one here. Yeah, So we have to work on this a little bit. And we do this in that we have the symbol pins, which are fixed, given by the symbol. And we have the model pins, and now we have to choose the right model pin for the right symbol pin. OK, let's click on the one, first one. The first one, model pin is NC, not connected. So let's choose here also, not connect. The second one is pin number two is in minus, which is minus here. Looks good. The third one, well, we have to go in here. This is in plus. So let's put it here, in plus. The fourth one is the power supply minus, which is VEE, looks good, we see it here. The fifth one is not connected on the symbol, so let's choose here, not connected also. Six is our output, we see it here on the symbol, so we give it here the out. Okay, and the seven is the positive power supply, so let's give it here the VCC connection. Okay, 8 is again not connected. So we have transformed the model pin numbering to the symbol pin numbering to allow a simulation. And we put OK and we put OK. Yeah, and I think we are ready now to start simulation. Let's go for inspect simulator. We have to choose our simulation. We'll start with a transient simulation. And go in here, choose transient analysis. We have one kilohertz frequency, so it is good to have a resolution of 10 microseconds, 10 U. And the final time is 10 milliseconds, 10 M. And that's it so for now. OK. And what do we want to see in our plot window? The in voltage and the out voltage. So let's give it here uh, a tick mark. And then we start the simulation. And hopefully we see something. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> our input voltage in red is given here. Our output voltage in blue is given here. And the input has an amplitude of 0.1, we see it, and the output has an amplitude of plus minus 1. So the amplification by a factor of 10 seems to be OK. Next, we want to do an AC simulation. So let's choose the simulation type, selector, new simulation type, tab, selector again, and we choose AC simulation. Well, we want to do a number of points per decade. Let's choose 10. And we start a reasonable frequency at 10 hertz. And we go. This is a nice amplifier with good frequency capability. So let's move up to 10 megahertz. OK. What do we want to see? We want to see the gain and the phase of the output. And the output is 
the gain versus frequency. So we see the frequency behavior of this device when doing a small signal AC simulation. Everything seems to be ready, so let's start the simulation. And here we are. Okay, with these simulation is 20 dB, that is our factor of 10. We see a slight increase uh, at a few hundred kilohertz of the amplification, and then it goes down because, well, all devices typically have low pass behavior at certain frequencies. But when we think about audio amplification and up to 100 kilohertz, this is fairly flat amplification of 10. Okay, so what we want to do, we want also to save our uh, simulation setup. So we go here, file, save workbook as, and we are in the correct directory and we save it as opa1641.vbk. And we say OK. And then we uh, leave this, we close this. OK, we want to save our circuit. So let's save it again here. And we are done. Thank you.